So, I hope you enjoyed my selection for Book of the Week Club. Classic. Yeah, yeah it was very nice. It was very nice. Very nice. Mm. But what was your overall impression? Oh, right. Um, okay, well, uh, I would say, Rex, uh, that this book is a modern classic of the coming of age genre. Go on. Well, um, I was very taken, Rex, with the, uh, the way that Salinger charts the miseries and ecstasies of an adolescent rebel. You're just reading the reviews off the back cover. You've never read this book, have you? Well, I've kind of dipped in and out of it, you know, love. Dip. Right. So, the catcher in the rye. Hmm. What does that actually refer to? Right. Um, it's sort of... Um, well, he's, he's in the rye, isn't he? He's in the rye. You can never have enough fry, and uh, he's catching stuff. Stuff? Hmm. He's uh, metaphorically speaking, you know. No. No, it's from that old song, you know, when a body meets a body coming through the rye. Allow me. Right. Whatever. <clears throat> so Holden says, anyway, I always thought it was catch a body, not meat. So I keep picturing all these little kids playing some game in this big field of rye and all. Thousands of little kids and nobody's around. Nobody big, I mean, except me. And I'm standing on the edge of some crazy cliff. And what I have to do, I have to catch the kids if they start to go over the cliff. I mean, if they're running and they don't know where they're going, I have to come out from somewhere and catch them. That's all I do all day. I just be the catcher in the rye. So it's, it's basically, it's Holden's metaphor for his, Preserving the innocence of childhood. Which one was Holden? It's the main bloody character. Oh. Bloody hell, Sandra. It's the narrator. I mean, book was bloody pointless if you don't actually read the bloody book. Right, that's four bloodies, that is, Rex. You're cross, aren't you? I bloody well am. <gasps> Bye. I don't know. We're supposed to be reading To Kill a Mockingbird next week. No, well, I don't fancy that one, Rex, because I don't like animal cruelty. It's not about an actual I bird. don't agree with it. Listen, Rex, I'm telling you now, I don't agree with exploiting wild animals for our own entertainment. Have you seen Tiger King? I mean, come on, stick your hand in a tiger's cage and you are going to lose it. They're called wild animals for a reason. Have we learnt nothing from Parky and Emu? Parky? I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I bother trying to introduce you to great literature. Trying to, I don't know, in, get you into something more substantial than them trashy magazines you're always reading. At least the real life, Rex. Only this morning I was reading this story, pregnant with twins, and all I've done is share my boyfriend's towel. Just imagine that, Rex. Sandra, mm. that is very nearly unbelievable i know love exactly i've not got time to read anyway it's like piccadilly circus in here love i've had Ari in round this morning i've got tina coming she should be here in a minute tina i've got tina coming and after that mr and mrs singer coming round after tea well, what's going on have you opened your groans to the public listen will you keep with the times please it's all changing now love i have visitors round, but listen I have, I'm sat near the rhubarb and I've measured that. That's 2.5 metres. It's all safe and we're following the rules and regulations. Oh, fine. Enjoy. Enjoy. Don't worry about me. No, I'll just spend the afternoon emptying the crumb tray off my toaster. Yeah, that'll right. keep, that'll keep me busy for a couple of hours. Rex, will you stop feeling sorry for yourself, please? I don't know why you don't just get some friend round. Invite a friend round. A friend? Hmm. A friend. Turns out all my friends were predominantly Hazel's friends. And when she ran off with that pallet force driver from Solly Hall, they all went with her, metaphorically. <laughs> right, come on then. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, I've got a couple of spare slots free tomorrow. How are you fixed for coming over here tomorrow at 11 o'clock? What, me? Coming to yours, you mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, I suppose. You know, I've not, I've not been in the petrol in the car since March. Go on then, it's a date then, kid. Yeah. You're going to have to save that bird killing book for another time, love. Oh, not an issue. Not an issue. Got you on audio books. Listen to it in the car. I love audio books. I listen to them. Oh, well, all's not lost then, eh? What are you listening to now? Oh, it's good. It's uh, Rags to Richard, Shane Richard. Ah, well, <laughs> suppose it's a start anyway, yeah? <laughs> hey, I finished my cauliflower painting. You can see that when you come over. How did you get on with yours of the funicular railway? Let's just say it got it got derailed. <laughs> Shall we? Listen, Rex, I can't wait to see you in the flesh, love. This has been all right, but it's not the same as being properly with somebody. Is it? I just want to say to you, love, I never have got through all this without seeing you like this. So thanks. Well, that's lovely, but listen, don't get too complacent yet. Frigging disease is still out there, and I can't come round there every day. No, so I we'll carry on with this. Carry on with this because, well, the start, I've still got to beat you at chess, haven't I? Yeah, tell me now, Rex, is it five times I've beaten you or six? That's neither here nor there, Sandra. <laughs> the point is, we've got to carry on with these daily sessions. Yeah, and you th to think before this, we'd go months, wouldn't we, before speaking to each other, Rex? Yeah, but you know what? We were working, weren't we, then? I was with Hazel, you had Clem. Yeah, now Clem's, well, wherever he is, I hope it's a better place. Well, it won't be in Solio with a pallet force driver, that's for sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> bless. Hey, listen, do you remember what we said? First time we meet each other, we're going to go dancing. <laughs> in your back garden? Yeah, i get yeah. some sequins on. All right, well, you know what? I'll dig out my tuxedo. No. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Sounds like Tina's uh, Honda Civic. Yes, Tina, I'm coming. We're going out together. She's got a bottle of something bubbly and I'm not talking, matey. I'm coming, love. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm going now. All right, Rex, I'll see you tomorrow. Come over tomorrow. All right, see, I look forward to it. Bye, love. You know, when as Atticus says, you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. You know what I mean? And they're still kin to you, no matter whether you acknowledge them or not. But you're going to look right silly when you don't. Not Shane Ritchie, but hey, still.